friends, today we're going to learn Parashat Shalach. And in Parashat Shalach, Moses sends 12 people, one person from each tribe, to go and tour Israel, to tell the people of Israel what Israel is like. What is the land of Israel like? The last time anyone from the people of Israel stepped foot in Israel was when Jacob and his sons left to Egypt. No one from the, from the people of Israel has been in the land of Israel for over 200 years. He chooses 12 people, the head of each tribe. And for the tribe of Judah, he chooses Caleb. And for the tribe of Ephraim, he chooses Hoshea Binun. But before he sends them, he changes Hoshea's name to Yehoshua, Joshua. They all go together to tour the land of Israel. Hmm, where shall we go? Wow, we're the first people to enter the land of Israel out of all the people of Israel after over 200 years that the people of Israel were in here since Jacob and his sons left to Egypt. Let's go to Hebron. That's where our forefathers are buried. Abraham, Isaac, that's where we brought up our father Jacob also and buried him. And also our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, Leah. Let's go visit Hebron. After they visited Hebron, they went over the whole land of Israel and saw what it was like so they could tell the people of Israel how beautiful, how, how lovely the land of Israel is and to get the people of Israel excited to come to the land of Israel. After 40 days of walking around Israel, they came back to the people of Israel and to Moses to tell him how it was. You're the first ones who stepped foot in the land of Israel after over 200 years that we've been away in Egypt. I've only heard about it in legends. I've only heard about it in stories. What is it like? You're the first who got to see it from all of us. After we, we left Egypt, you're the first one who went, to, who went to the land of Israel. What is it like? It really is as good as they say. The fruits there? are huge. Look, we brought back some grapes. They were so big and heavy. We had to put them on a stick and carry them with two people on our shoulders, a stick on our shoulders and carry the grapes. And we brought back figs and pomegranates. The fruit there, just like they told in the stories, is awesome. But there's something else you should know about the land of Israel. There are people there that are just as big as the fruits we saw. The fruits that are supernaturally big, also the people there are humongous. And they live in cities surrounded with these, with these big walls and they're impenetrable. We won't be able to win them. We won't be able to, to conquer the land of Israel. The people of Israel heard this oh, and started crying. Why did you take us out of Egypt? It was better being slaves there than, than going to that scary land with all those, all those humongous people. Why did you bring us here, Moses? Why did you bring us to Israel? We want to go back to Egypt. We're afraid. God heard that and got so upset. Why aren't they trusting me? Haven't I took them out of Egypt? Haven't I done enough miracles for them to trust in me that everything will be okay? Caleb and, Ju and Joshua silenced the other people. Stop, you're making them afraid. You're making them scared. We can go up to Israel. We can conquer it. We can inherit the land. We can do it. We can, we can, we can do it. Don't be afraid. But the people of Israel kept on crying and Joshua and, Ju and Caleb tore their clothes from sorrow that they saw the people of Israel not excited to go into the land of Israel instead of being happy that they finally made it after so many years of being slaves in Egypt they're coming back to the land of Israel instead of being happy they were crying they want to go back to Egypt oh no God heard this and told Moses that's it I want to destroy the people of Israel. I've had enough of them. They don't trust me. They don't believe in me, even after all these miracles I've done. Uh oh, God, please don't do that. Bad idea, bad idea, destroying the whole people of Israel. Not a good idea. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He, he once told me that, that, that there was something I could say that, 
that would make him forgive the people of Israel instantaneously. Ah, yes! The 13 words of mercy. Aha! Moses said the 13 words of mercy and God forgave the people of Israel. But he was still angry a little bit and gave them a punishment. This whole generation of people who cried about leaving the land of Egypt and who cried about coming to the land of Israel, they will not merit to go into the land of Israel. They all cried, and you know what? They're all going to die in the desert. The people of Israel were sentenced to 40 years of wandering in the desert. Instead of going into Israel immediately, like God had planned initially, they were now sentenced to 40 years of wandering in the desert until all the generation of people that left Egypt would die out and only the children would enter the land of Israel. The only two people that got to go in to the land of Israel from all the generation that left Egypt were Caleb and Joshua who spoke good things about the land of Israel. You're so lucky. You're so lucky you're going to go into the land of Israel. I'm so, so happy for you. Yeah, we're happy too. All of us, we only heard about it in stories from our elders, but we won't get to see that amazing land. Only you and all the children of this generation that cried for nothing. The people of Israel heard this. 40 years of wandering in the desert. Oh no, we shouldn't have complained. You know what, Moses? We're gonna go up to the land of Israel on our own, by ourselves. Uh, we, we regret complaining, we're, we're sorry. We'll, we'll go up on our own. I don't think you should do that. God isn't with you. He already gave you a punishment and decided that you are not gonna see that wonderful land. But they didn't listen to Moses. And even though he told them not to go, they went. Don't do it! Don't do it! But they went up and didn't listen to Moses or to God. The soldiers of the Amalek and the Canaanite people came down and fought them and beat them. Uh-oh. That's it. The people of Israel realized that there was no going back after they complained about the land of Israel. They were sentenced to walk around the desert for 40 years and only the generation of their children would be able to go into the land of Israel. You're so lucky you'll be able to go into the land of Israel. I'm so happy for you. You know, Moses, we really learned from this. From now, we're going to say only good things about the land of Israel. So thank you for listening to Parashat Shalach. And from now, let's all say only good things about the wonderful land of Israel. Shabbat Shalom.